Although, did I, I did I tell you guys that the that a taxi driver tried to like mouth me off the other day? What for? Um, literally, I was like slowly going to the light because I wasn't in, in a hurry. Ethan was in the passenger seat because we were going to volleyball. Yeah. Um, and the lights turned amber, so I'm like, all right, slowly go to the stop. And then when I'm stopped at the lights, all I hear is. And I'm like, what the fuck? I look into my rearview mirror, and there's a taxi driver, like, honking his horn at me and trying to flip me off. I'm like, are you kidding? What are you, what are you doing? And then we both turned right, and while I was behind two or three cars at, at the lights, he had a clear way. He stopped right next to me, wound down his window, his whole torso was out the, out the window, mouthing me off, like, trying to mouth me off. And I'm like, can you hear anything he's saying? Ethan's like, nah. And I'm like, I wonder if you'll get the hint. And I turned up the volume. He's still trying to mouth me off. This went on for a good two minutes until the lights went green. This was in front of Crown Casino. The lights wow. went green. And he, he just went, oh, like he made this weird like gesture. Got back in the car, put the finger out, floored it. Fishtailed it through the the lights. He was a taxi driver. Yeah, he fishtailed it through the lights, and then he only struggled to get in because he was he was his taxi was going to go to the pickup area of the Crown Casino. <laughs> so he fishtailed it through the lights, and then like f- his ass like flung out to try and actually go get in there because if he didn't, he would have missed the entryway. And I'm just watching him going, you're a fucking wanker. What a tossbag. This is why we need dash cams. And all because I actually stopped at an amber light. That you're supposed to. Yeah. If it's safe to do so. Well, it was, he was, he was so far behind me, but he, he, be, he believed, he sped up when it was amber. He believed I was going to go through and he was going to sneak through as the light was going to go red. No. Weren't you behind like, others? No, I was, I, was the, oh, okay. I was the one coming up to the lights. I'm like, oh, it's Amber, slow down. Yeah. You know, as a responsible driver should do. And then he was flipping me off. And I'm like, are you stupid? Cause he like, he honked his horn and then he flipped me off. So I just, I sat there with my arm out the window, giving him the finger. Cause you know, fuck him. He was also like, clearly like Arabic kind of guy. And I'm like, this is a little racist, isn't it? It's all right. You can pass as Arabic too. Yeah. But it was me and E in our like, sports so as I it doesn't matter what race or whatever they are. Dickhead is a dickhead. That's yeah. Exactly. God damn, Ritata. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. It was funny though. I remember when I was in the army and somebody tried to do that. Yeah. Well, I'm one of the guys. Um, because they had like a uh, project car, and it was really sweet. It's been in a few shows and stuff. We were all out driving out to like a car meet. Yeah. Ooh. And, you know, same sort of thing. Pulls up beside us, starts mouthing off, blah, blah, blah. Windows are tinted so dark you basically can't see in. Yeah. And all of our doors opened and about six guys popped out of this car. All of us big army blokes. He tore out of there like a bat out of hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, he would have. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, some Yeah, some people are just dickheads on the road. Especially Melbourne. Uh, and people wonder why I don't want to go there. I take public transport most of the time. It's fine. Like, I think the only reason that I go into the city with an actual car is to, like, go to volleyball. And that's it. I've never had the occasion of, I need my car in the city. Mm. It's all. It, I've ha- always had the time to, like, catch a tram... And then a train, and then another tram to get where I need to go. Oh god. You can't. Shit, why did I go into here? I didn't mean to. The eternal struggle of... 
tackling down a level 2 Geodude with a level 9 Chikorita and it's only like barely going down each time. Mm. Goddamn <laughs> defense curl. Oh. Is he gonna defend? No, he's gonna try and kill me. And he's taking off 1 HP every time. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna try Pokeball after this hit. Or not, and fucking crit him! Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> or crit. Well, there goes my- there goes the first chance of getting a fucking Geo, dude. <sighs> fucking chicorita crit bastard. Uh... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> what? I went up to like this duel fight. And you forgot what was in the second slot? No, I knew what was in my second slot. I didn't know what they would have though, and I threw out a Mareep and a Maril. And I sent out a Geodude and a Fire type. Like, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh oh. Hmm. What's the second form again? I always forget. What? Uh. Quill, blank, Typhlosion. Quillava. Quillava. At my Quillava. Lame one. <laughs> the lame one. I always had a fire type when I was playing through. Because I wanted to be different. Well, yeah, I think if I you wanted to be different, you'd pick grass. <laughs> I picked the fire type because you always pick the water type, and I'm like, yeah. I don't want to be like you. <laughs> Go away. I don't, I don't want to do that. Mm. So I went Charmander, and I'm like, why is this so hard? And you're like, well, I just breeze through that. For you. Oops. Okay, good. Good news. Hoot Hoot's, uh, Rhiannon's first ability in the first slot is tackle. If it had anything else there, I would have just growled at him or something. Because I was spamming A. And I'm like, God, just, just let me play. So, uh, how's the Attack on Titan game? It's freaking awesome. It's so much fun co-op, and it's up to four-player co-op, and yeah. it's great. Like, uh, we were playing at three-player the other day, and yeah. Lizzie got trapped in, like, an alley. Yeah. Uh -huh. And she was fighting this time, but she couldn't get around it to slash at its neck, which is, like, the only way to kill him. Yeah. So, um, I came flying past, swung down past her, going full speed, cut off its leg, and, like, pissed off down the hallway, still, like, fighting other things. It's, you know, collapsed down because I've cut its leg off and then she just comes along and slashes off its neck and flings off and I'm like, that was sweet. I love how you just swing out now and it just slice whoop, 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 and just yep. keep going. <laughs> yeah. I can't, I, yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of the game, nor do I have, like, the e extreme spare cash of just picking it up. We don't know if you're a fan of the game or not, because you haven't played it. <laughs> no, fan of the anime. as well. the Fan of the thing. I haven't watched the anime, so you don't really know that either. Hey, I've watched like one episode, manga. and I'm like, no fucking, no, I don't care. So much more screwed up in the manga. The anime doesn't give it any justice. Yeah, I don't I've still care. got a lot more to explain in the anime. Well, even in the manga, there's not much to explain, but they they. Ex Go through the turmoil and like the angst of not knowing and how angry that makes you. Mm. Oh my god, angst and turmoil. I don't, yeah. Yeah, but there's a reason this time. The anime doesn't really cover that. It's more like, I like oh, I watched turmoil. my turmoil. Otherwise, like, why would I watch it otherwise? You're talking to a person who, lo like me, I love Haikyuu and it's got nothing of that. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Volleyball anime. Volleyball. Ugh. <laughs> and... Although, I'm such a like hypocrite. It's anime or anything like that, I'm just like, nope. I'm, just, I'm such a hypocrite because, like, I'm actually, like, I love volleyball as a sport. Like, I play volleyball. That's why I love the volleyball anime. But then, like, Kuroko no Basuke, I'm like, eh, who the fuck would watch that stuff? Sorry, but once Prince of Tennis stuff. came out, I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Prince of Tennis. That's that's how old I am. <laughs> yeah. Like really old, like ancient. Nineties. You're from the Stone Age, aren't you? 
No, we just found metal, so we're doing okay. We just found metal. <laughs> I know you had a lot of uh, the techno CDs. Mmm, you'll do. The rave. Ns, 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 ns. 